Hello everyone, a very good morning to you. Welcome to today's edition of The Bottom Line. Here are the top headlines. Australia's Queensland state to open to vaccinated travellers without quarantine. Domestic flights to operate at full capacity from 18th October. European travellers to drive Gulf tourism recovery. Barcelona has high hopes for the return of mass tourism. US tourist hubs expecting travel boom after restrictions are lifted. 50 trains across 130 locations affected amid farmers' rail roco agitation, according to officials. Australia's Queensland state announced plans on Monday to open up to vaccinated travellers, ending the status it has enjoyed throughout the pandemic of remaining virtually free of COVID-19. For almost 600 days, for nearly two years, we have kept the virus out of Queensland. Those days will soon come to an end. This will be the end of the zero COVID for Queensland. Treasurer Cameron Dixon. Airlines will be running domestic flights without any capacity restrictions starting Monday, according to the revised order by the Union Ministry of Civil Aviation. The order was issued in the view of increase in passenger demand for air travel, the ministry stated. It has been decided to restore the scheduled domestic air operation with effect from October 18, 2021. Without any capacity restriction, the aviation ministry had stated. European travellers are set to become a key source market for the Gulf region, especially Gulf Corporation Council countries, which will help their post-pandemic tourist industry recovery. Gus Gardner, Associate Travel and Tourism Analyst at Global Data, comments, Given the high levels of growth expected from European travellers arriving in GCC countries over the next three years, they will be a key driver of the region tourism recovery from COVID-19. One country of particular importance to the region in the UK as global data's latest forecasts show that UK arrivals to GCC countries will reach 3 million by 2024, a CAGR of 21.7. That's a wrap on today's edition of The Bottom Line. Thank you for joining us. For more such travel industry updates, stay tuned to tomorrow. Have a great day.